Joe. Where's Joe? There's Joe. Ooh. Uh, we are at Epcot. We are going to be doing food and wine. We've got our passport. Um, so it's the day after Dorian on a breeze pass. It was nothing. It really was nothing. Literally, Meh. could have kept the park safe though. Yeah, they closed the parks early yesterday. Um, like two for it, a lot early. So we are so eager to get into a park and just be here. Um, so we're going to bring you along with us. Um, we're going to eat loads, feel okay. full, eat like a pig, do some rides. Humble, you are a pig. He said it. So yeah, let's go check it out. It's so weird about the what is it things there. The leave a legacy things. It's all just boarded up, all gone. They've taken the other ones down now. Excited. Yeah. Look at the bar. Oh, it's Pluto. Hey Pluto. You love all characters. Yeah, I know. I know, I really love them. More so than Tigger. I like Tigger. Got to pick one. <laughs> Picking Pluto. Nice. Camera center. That's where the new pin thing's gonna be. Yeah. We do need to go into Club Call though, because it closes on Sunday. Club Call time. What are you going for? What are you going for? Oh. Zimbabwe, a raspberry flavoured cream soda, Sparberry, launched in Africa in 1955. Nice. The melon frosting. Joe's going. It's a fan of pineapple. So we've decided what we're going to eat. Um, so when we go to these festivals, we always pick out the, the passport, but we always get two of them. And then in one of them we mark off the places that we want to do and then in the other we mark off the places that we've done. That's quite a cool way of tracking what you want to eat. Um, so we've gone through the book and lo and behold there's quite a few you want to try. <laughs> Every single one basically. Pretty, pretty much. Um, so we need to get cracking. We are going to start on World Showcase, work our way around, see how many we can get. And then over the next few days, we'll try and tick all of them off. The so last time we did this, it, was, it, wasn't, it wasn't too expensive because we had the dining plan, didn't we? So we were using like snack credits. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it's going to be pricey. But it's perfect because the food's great. So another thing to do when you come to a festival is buy these little wristband gift cards. You can top it up. Is it $15 the minimum yeah, you can put on? Um, and then you can use this to pay for your food. They just scan it. So in a change to tradition, we are going a different way around World Showcase today. We normally start off at Canada and work our way around that way. Yeah. But this time we're starting in Mexico. Joe's choice. Break the tradition. Isn't it? Something, new. something new. So let's head that way. Thai for breakfast. Thai for breakfast. Nice. Ooh, one pod. Pretty. It's a little bit breezy. It's still there. Normally it is completely still. But uh not today. You must probably need to hear the wind on the camera, even though I got a muffler on. <laughs> So it's going to sound like. So we've gone through Mexico, we've gone through Norway. And still nothing. And nothing to eat yet. You had the chicken dumpling served with Chinese slaw. Are you ready to try your chicken dumpling? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Let's give this a go. So the first stop is in China. Joe's getting a chicken dumpling. I'm not too sure on it. I might try a little bit, but I'm not convinced. So that's what Joe's going for. The chicken dumplings with Chinese slaw. Although the mala chicken and shrimp bao bun, that looks quite nice. So these are the chicken, chicken dumplings. dumplings. Trying the Chinese slaw first. What do you think? 
Chinese store, nice. Mm -hmm. It's quite like a um, coastal, but, um... but Chinese. Yeah. <laughs> Original. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I forgot like, to do shops here. Use your fingers. <laughs> no, I forgot how to do it. I just did it a minute ago, but I don't like to go. I can't even use cho chopsticks. It's quite funny watching you try to oh, do it. Just use your fingers. What's inside it? Chicken. Chicken. Do you want to try some? Well, that's what's it like. Describe it. It's like... It's like a samosa kind of thing. Okay. What's the sauce? Wow. Spicy? It's not spicy, it's just sharp. Okay. You'd like it. I just tried some of the dumpling. It's okay, but it didn't blow me away. I'm glad I didn't get it. But you like it. It's like a pancake. Like a pancake. It's like sweet and sour sauce. Mm. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Cool. So we are now at the Africa booth. And once again, I've got nothing from here. It's all Joe. He's getting the Kenyan coffee beef tenderloin. Which sounds nice, but I'm not sure because of the coffee and I don't like coffee. Um, but let's check it out. So this is the Kenyan coffee beef tenderloin from the Africa booth. Thoughts? Very nice. Very nice. It doesn't taste like coffee at all. No? No, there's no coffee. I'm going for the Shinkin Noodlin. <laughs> Whatever you call that. I can't even pronounce it though. Shinkin Noodlin. Shinkin Noodlin. It's very windy, isn't it? Very windy. What do you think? It's just like pasta carbonara. It's kind of like carbonara, yeah. What's the taste? T out of 10? Is it hot? Yeah, it's hot. Um. Um, give it a 2. There's oh. not much taste to it at all. Oh. If you get a bit of pancetta, you can taste the pancetta. Yeah. Um, so, Germany done. Tried the schnicken noodle, whatever it was called. Right, you didn't give much did you? Uh, pretty bland. It was just like pasta and cream. However, España. Now we're in Spain and we are due to have the paella. Let's give it a go. Well, you go, right? Got the paella. Oh, we said it in the Spanish way. Uh, so said it correctly. What's that on top? Sausage. 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 Okay. Do they like Spain? No. Very nice paella. There's no um, seafood. So it's supposed to be seafood. In a paella you would normally get seafood. Oh. This is just chicken and sausage. And now it's on the table. <laughs> it's nice. Nice, isn't that? Mm. Yum. Well done, Spain. Italia. One of your faves. This is one of my favourite pavilions. I don't know why. I don't know what my favourite pavilion is. <laughs> so it's like KFC basically. With tomato sauce. Yeah. No. It's like chicken goujons with tomato sauce. Uh, tomato soup. Yeah. Basically. It's nice. It reminds me of what we had in Rainforest Cafe. Mm. Minus the mozzarella. Mm. That's good. How's your chocolate cake? Nice. Moist. Moist. Mm. Creamy. That's quite nice. Hmm. Top 
Berlino. La vita è bella. Ciao bella. Ciao bella. Ciao. I'm not so sure. So we've done Japan, we've watched American Adventure, and now we're off to the next spot, which won't be Morocco. We're going to skip Morocco, although there is a New York strip steak that we want to try. That's for another day. Who's your mate? Oh, no, no, it's like 20 dollars. It's cute though. I have my So we made it to France and we've got some treats. We have got some snails. Yum yum. Creme brulee and some braised beef. But Joe doesn't want to try the escargot. I'd rather eat my own. <laughs> I can see feces. You can see <laughs> Wow. I can see feces. Right as I'm about to eat. Okay, well, we'll give it a go. I've never tried snails before, but I thought, while you're here, try new things, give it a go. Uh, let's check it out. So, this is the croissant with escargot in a paisley and garlic sauce. This is the braised beef and potatoes. And then we've got a creme brulee, which is a chocolate creme brulee, I think. So, yum, yum. We'll give it a go. So Brian is about to eat basically slugs it's not from the slugs. garden. Look, I watched Tim Tracker and Jen loved it. So it can't be that bad. Yes it can. They were in my garden a few hours ago munching down on my mum's... Don't milk. eat me! <laughs> Here we go, thumbs up. That's disgusting. Uh. <laughs> is it snaily? Is Why there a little it? bit of shell in there? No, it's like very garlic. It's like garlic bread. Is it nice? It's quite nice actually. Okay. Well, you carry on eating your snails. I'm gonna smash that bad boy in. I'm trying a bit of that as well. No. You have snails. You eat your snails. I eat my chocolate creme brulee. You eat your dirty snails. <laughs> Are they nice? Is that actually nice? On an out of ten? That's like a nine. Oh, no. The texture of the snail is just like a mushroom. I didn't taste them anything. Nice. It's like a beef stew. Like a beef stew. Mmm. Oh, does that have a crack? Mm. Different. Is it runnier? Maybe because it's hot today. Mmm. Wow. Nice. Chocolate air. Green. Ooh. Chocolate goo. So France is done. I like the escargot. If you've never tried it before, I'd recommend it. Just tastes like garlic bread. Uh, the braised beef was nice. It's kind of like a steak and out pie. Um, but the creme brulee, I preferred last year's version. It was like a raspberry. Uh, whereas this year it was a chocolate version. Um, nice, but not as good as last year. So let's head over 
the United Kingdom. So that was food and wine done for today. I'm stuffed. He's stuffed. We can't eat no more. Um, we did do soaring. It was a walk-on. Literally a walk-on. Um, so we are going to head back to the hotel because we're heading over to Magic Kingdom. Um, because I need of the a shower. He needs a shower. He needs to fall off. Um, and because of the hurricane, they are doing extra magic hours at Magic Kingdom until midnight. So we're going to go and do that tonight. So that's it from us from Epcot. We'll see you over at Magic Kingdom. Bye bye. So we're not at Magic Kingdom because uh, we've just got back to the room and we noticed a little note on uh, the desk that had my name on it with a little card inside. Doo -doo. It said thank you for leaving some feedback uh, when we arrived for Adam. Cast member Adam when we checked in. Um, he was so nice. He was. And we got some Giardelli chocolates. Giardelli. Disney Resort ones. What flavour? Milk chocolate. Got four of them. How cute is that? See, this is why I love coming to Disney. Because you get little things like this. It is the little it's cool. extra touches. Yeah, little extra touches. I wanted to show that. But anyway, we're going to get changed. See you at Magic Kingdom. Bye. So we're not in Magic Kingdom yet. <coughs> I know that's twice I've told you we're going to Magic Kingdom. Um, but we got back to the room. And we're like, oh, such a trek to the room. We don't like this block. We don't like this block. It's, it's a little a bit too far. Yeah. It's... And we don't, we don't ever walk through the reception or the shop no. or the cafe. Because we're so far at the back and we park at the back. Yeah. So I phoned front desk and said, is there any chance to upgrade to preferred room? And they said, okay, well, we'll call you back, blah, blah, blah. So they called us back. And voila, we get upgraded to a preferred room. So we've now packed everything up. <laughs> we've packed everything up, cases. <laughs> Ready. It's like we're going home. It's literally been packed up in what, 15 minutes? Mm. Boom, done. Um, and it was a free upgrade. Yay, cha-ching, thanks Disney. Yeah. Um, Who's the lady on reception? Lord, Lord, Lourdes. 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 Thank thanks you, Lourdes. Lourdes. Um, so we're gonna go to the new room. So. Come with. Come with. Click. Voila, we're in a new room. <laughs> but you wouldn't tell because they're identical, except it's for. Exactly this says All Star Surf, and the last one said Mini, and she was playing tennis. Um, so it's exactly the same room. I'm not going to do another room tour because it's exactly the same. Um, I'm just going to put everything exactly exactly how it was. Um, but this time our view is a little bit different. Come with. So now we're on the ground floor, and right park there park. Right. is where we always park. So right there, right there. and we're now in room. One, 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 two. Oh, this is been, I'm so happy. And now we're closer to everything else as well. So we're closer to the main reception, food court. Get in there more often. Yeah, so it's a lot easier. You just come out, walk around, and you're there. Voila. So yeah. So once we've unpacked and freshened up, We'll then, then see, see you at Magic, at Magic Kingdom. Finally. Finally. Bye. <laughs> Off to meet Mickey and Minnie. Their special birthday. Birthday. Exits. Yeah. There you go. I'm right over here. Bye. Bye. Come on in, guys. Everybody. <laughs> and just like that, we are at Magic Kingdom. Joe's there. And um, we just met Mickey and Minnie. Yeah. yeah. They were cool. We weren't even on that one of the It was pretty much walk like, on. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think because Happily Ever After is started, so everybody's there watching that. And um, when we literally came in and thought, right, let's go see Mickey and Minnie. Which we did. So here we are now at Magic Kingdom and let's have a little walk around. So we just wrote Big Thunder and now we get something to eat in Coco's. Mm. 
Okay, I went in on the salad sour cream. How like much? Sour cream. <laughs> Seriously. Bad. Like oh. yeah. uh, That's fair. Really? I'm not gonna eat it, but what a waste. Yeah, no. Wasteful. Um, if you've watched any of our other vlogs, then you might notice that we were in exactly the same spot where we were in November. Right there. Yeah, so we're gonna Weird. eat this and then we're gonna do some more rides. Cool. So, so you've just eaten? And where are we going now? Seven to one. 20 minute wait. Ugh. 20 minute extra magic hours. It's not bad. No. So we're doing Seven Dwarfs and then we're going to go and do Space Mountain. Um, and then we'll see what the wait times are. Um, or we might then make a move back to the hotel and miss the bit rush. Um, so we'll see what the queue times are like, but let's get over to Seven Dwarfs. Dwarfs ahead. Ooh, look at the castle. It's so pretty. He's so pretty. Castle, not Joe. Wahaha. <laughs> Ice cold, baby. It's very cold. It's nice. Nice. Refreshing. Good. And like that, we are back in the room. Yep. Magic Kingdom done. Uh, we didn't do Seven Dwarfs or Space Mountain because by the time we got there, Seven Dwarfs jumped to like 40, 40. minutes and we were like, nah. And Space Mountain had closed. It closed. And it's why Seven Dwarfs had jumped. Yeah, so we had a little walk around the park, um, took some pictures of the castle, yeah. and then jumped on the bus and got back. Um, so And I did a good deed. A little, let a little child sit down. He did. He did. So well done, Joe. Good deed of the day. Good deed of the day. Uh, but that's it. So thanks for watching. We hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, plenty more to come. So make sure you subscribe. And we'll see you again real soon. It's adios for me. Cheerio. Bye.